at that? A rare one. It's strong, and to the victor go the spoils. Old man Sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this. <laughs> I'd like to see some reinforcements out here. If we're all done here, let's call for Exfel. I'm starved. Speaking of, what are they serving today? Admittedly, I wasn't paying a lot of attention at the last supply meeting. Wait, just remembered. Some new engineered corn or something. Oh, you mean that same overgrown corn on the cob fiasco? It's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on, if we're not back soon, we'll get a lot of nothing. Director, I believe Norn has found a match. A potential new type God Eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the test. This is going to be a painful process. <clears throat> Sorry, I had fun. <laughs> I don't want to talk so long because I don't want to run the <clears throat> Ooh. Ew. Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! You have passed the test, and well, now that we're certain you're a God Arc match, we must ensure your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. Got it. I have great hopes. Too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention. Now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. 
senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. Your schedule is as follows. A full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics, and given a brief overview of God Arcs and Armament. Until this moment, God Eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Am I understood? Ma'am, yes ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams. Let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. Until then, you're free to tour the facility as you wish. Welcome to Fenrir's Far East Branch, which we affectionately call the Den. This is your home now. These teammates, your family. Godspeed. Okay, so welcome everybody to God Eater. I decided that I'll do Resurrection first. I'll complete Resurrection first and then move on to God Eater 2 because I like to do things in chronological order. Uh, I'm doing this in preparation for God Eater 3 because it's coming out in February 2019 and I'm so hyped. <laughs> uh, this is my normal setup in the game. Like, almost no matter what. But I'm pretty good with every weapon. <laughs> I think the only weapon I think I'm particularly the worst at is the spear. Because I do pretty okay- oh no, the hammer is the one I've never used before. Like I've used it, but like I've never actually taken it on a story mission or a really hard mission because I know I'm gonna die. Uh, but yeah. We just made it into the game, so... I've already beaten this game too, in the Vita. Spoiler. Uh, but... I don't know how to say the situation. Cause, like, I still... I remember most of the game's story, but I don't really... I don't really remember some, some parts of it. And I don't remember how long the missions are. So we have to talk to Subaki first. Get on with it. First, go get your medical checkup. Go up the stairs and take the section elevator to the laboratory. Head toward Dr. Sakaki's laboratory. Proper pronunciation from what I remember. Sakaki. At the far end of the corridor. When you're done with your checkup, I want you to come back here, understand? Yes. Alright, now be on your way. I already know most of these, so like, I don't necessarily need a tutorial, but I just keep them anyway because I'm lazy. But let's just read the mail. Nice to meet you. This is from Koda. By the way, do you know when my medical checkup is? I think Miss Subaki told me, but I can't remember. I want to ask her, but she seems kind of scary. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Since we only started the game, we really can't do much but do the medical checkup. So you have to go to the lab. This is canon. She is canon. Ha ha ha. And this is the laboratory. Here's the sick bay, and this doesn't. Uh, during this time in the game, they really didn't uh, unlock this, so to speak. So like, at this moment, they only had one medical room, and it was this one. Because this was based off the 2008-2010 release. Not based off. This is a remake with extended story. <coughs> this is a remake of the. This is a. Remake of the 2010 release But with more awesome stuff to add and no blood arts mm, I'm gonna cry <laughs> Didn't expect that you are here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated Interesting. I am Paylor Sakaki Dr. Paylor Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and R&D. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. 
Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Like Thank you for YouTube taking channel. part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm the director of the Far East Branch, reporting directly to Fenrir. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any case, if I may return to my speechifying. The Fenrir Corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right. The Aegis project will defend humanity in our utopia. A fortress at sea, impregnable to origami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. Ah, of course, of course! Once the final phase of the project is complete, humanity will be able to live in peace again, free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something! <laughs> oh, right! <laughs> Sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. Well, I'll be the only gun and sword wielder until somebody else arrives, so... It's only a matter of time. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. As the exam begins, you will feel a bit drowsy. I assure you there's nothing to worry about. When you awaken, you'll be in your quarters. It's a, uh, catnap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well. I need to calculate that in, uh, Google later. Okay, so we have access to the archive now. But you can only use the archive in your own room, so skip that. Since there's not really much to go on since we've seen most of the stuff already. I'm also not gonna skip any cutscenes because uh, those are essential to gameplay. My phone rang. Uh, okay then. Give me a second. That's Shun over there in the far corner, by the way. One other thing I should note is that in this game, unlike God Eater Rage Burst, you can skip the tutorial! Which I freaking love, because I love getting into story action immediately. We'll just skip him while he's talking for now. I don't mean to sound mean, but... Okay, so the Devil's Tale. This is where we fight alongside Lindo. After receiving mission, okay, I get it. <laughs> I pretty much played this game over and over and over, so there's really not much for you to teach. And at the very start of the game, you really can't customize yourself that much. But I did change the color of my uniform. Matches the hat. Lindo, if you don't know, is the guy with the big red chainsaw. Oh, this guy. Lindo. The director said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet with you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. And I love his personality. Oh, hey there, Rook. The name's Lindo Amamiya. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. In game, I want you to be someone who I know has my back, and I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? <laughs> yup, and you're totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot. Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. They're like that with each now other. Now I lost my place, so we're cool, yeah? I'm sending <clears> you out into battle, and I know that's scary, but look, I'm gonna be right here with you. Got it? Oh, and look at the time. It's half past mission. Let's go. 
I'm pretty pro at this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep stating that until God Eater 3. I'm very pro at this mission at this game. This is the City of Mercy, where we will fight one Ogre Tail. Man, this place has seen better days for sure. All right, Rook, we're gonna get some hands-on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide, use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. All right, kid. Let's get this show on the road. I just noticed a big difference within each God Eater's weaponry. Like, standards are like... The God Eater of Part 1 has very... Hey there! This is our first like, field op together. I'm excited very, to work with you. Now I let's see. get out there! We're fighting little ogre tails. Today. I can't really describe how it looked hunt. like. Nothing crazy or I'll say formal. But the God the God Eaters in God Eater 2 with the blood unit, they have very uniform weapons. God Eater 3, their weapons seem to be a lot more like technologically advanced, but also junky. Crap you first time to Just remember to stay calm. Watch their movements this is no and striking the scene. In case you yeah, haven't seen so my other God Eater video. Stand right in front of a giant monster. Yep, never needed the burst. <laughs> By the way, burst is a very essential part of this game. I don't just gonna throw combos. that out there. So when I say you moved well out there for a recruit, I mean. Also, gathering materials in the field is very important. It's what's gonna get you to craft a lot of weapons, and they also have different rarities, so you're not gonna get anything. So basically, m many of the things you get are just gonna be very sheer luck. They also re-clog the other area, which kind of pisses me off. Or did they? Pretty sure they did. Hmm. And this is the mission briefing screen. You get stuff. You get a lot of stuff based on your performance. And if you do good, then you get a lot of good rewards. But if you don't, well... We've got a lot of ground to cover, so what do you say we just jump right in? Now, what do you think an Aragami is? Lots of words come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer of mankind, God's given flesh. Well, those are all right, in a way. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say they simply evolved from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today, we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the Aragami come? History books tell us that they just appear, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> hey, hey, does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters! Whoa. <laughs> Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill us. But no, that won't bring down an Aragami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Ha! Perhaps. But each Aragami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. So, how then are we meant to survive? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Um, well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! 
a biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an Aragami's body. That's the key. They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core, the cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures Aragami, and we fight them still. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of Aragami. Dismiss! Not like my character has ever actually studied these. Excuse my... <coughs> Excuse my burping. Alright, uh... On to the next mission. I'm going to talk to Lindo first. We'll get to know each other. We'll get to know you better today, or I'd like to, but as usual, we'll talk about work. In today's mission, you'll be with the long range specialist god eater Sakya Tach Tachibana. Or Tachibana. When you're ready to go, when you're ready, go to Hibari and accept the mission I ordered. You got that? Sakya and I are old frenemies, but she's okay, so don't be scared of her. I'm counting on you. And over here is Tatsumi. You have an additional joint mission with Sakya. Sakya, she's gorgeous, you know. Corrupt cocoon. Again, another very simple mission. This is gonna be very boring, <laughs> to say the least. But just bear with me until until further in, because that's where the really exciting fights start to happen. Once the big origami come, then we'll talk about bread and butter. Did I really say that? Yeah, I did. Ah, you're the new recruit, aren't you? Ah, shit, I should have used the hammer. Sakuya Tachibana. Great to meet you. You look a little nervous. You all right? It sounds weird, but you've got to stay relaxed. We don't want you freezing up out there. Oh. All right, let's get to the mission briefing. You've got the lead today. I'll be handling the long range backup. So wherever you go, I'll follow. This is as basic as strategy gets, but it's the key to success when you're teamed up with a long-range god arc like mine. Oh, and don't go running off. If you get too far, I can't cover you. Stay within my line of sight and my god arc's effective range. All right, we're a team now, you and I. We look out for each other. Let's get out there and take those origami down. I love how the PS4 version of this game is so shiny. Like, the weapons and blades are really, really reflective compared to how, it, how they're on the Vita. All units are in position and awaiting the go code. Sakuya, are you Ooh, two prepared? So good. No problems here, Hibari. Let's get in there and win this. I feel like I should change the controls after a while. I had to go through, like, a lot of the pad pads. The, buttons, the shoulder buttons just to, like, remember what sprint is. Is this your first time fighting a cocoon game? They're a little scary, I'll admit. They don't move. I don't know if they even can. But if they catch a beat on you, they never miss. Watch your teammates. I'm pretty sure they move because they sprout from the ground. Yep, definitely should have used the hammer. I like to see. Who has two thumbs and just trounced an origami? <laughs> and this girl. Oh my god, I Excellent. forgot I used that kind yes, of personality yes, on this character. <laughs> my puppies are acting up. Alright, let's just kill this one with a blade. Fairly simple, but I have to dodge in order to... ...not die. Very straightforward, but... I like to keep my trouble. Here you go. 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 Here you go.
And that's all the materials we have around this map, I think. The glowing ore in this game is way cooler than it is in the Vita. But I still can't wait for Gladiator 3. Ah, the zero stands. One thing they never took out of the game. Actually, they never they never had it until God Eater 2, so what am I talking about? Basically, this is just uh, God Eater 1 with God Eater 2, but without the blood arts. And it has a much more dynamic and fast-paced combat system. More epic, so to speak. Just kind of harder. So old man shop keeps got some stuff. Oh, I'm not buying that. <laughs> so not buying that. Wait, can I craft new clothes? I'm kind of big on I'm kind of big on uh, crafting the outfits. Not gonna lie. Ooh, I could craft the sniper. Aw, where's the sniper black? Sniper black's not here. Oh, the medic coat looks cool. I just want the color black one though. The red could work, but. Okay, I bet those two over there are the type of bully rookies. I hate the Glada Mission with those guys. Oh, these guys are from the second unit. This is Carol. Speak of Delve, my young new type. Is it true that you have special powers? Outwardly, you look like any other brat. Oh, well, good luck earning your keep. These two are very big money whores. Now what next? Talking good phrase, you know, she was just here. I wonder if she's resting in her room. Okay, so we go talk to Sakuya. I think Sakya is on the left. No, there's someone's room. Sakya. Sounded like Sakya's voice came from the nearby room. Nearby room. The Lindo's room. Oh, good work. For the first time, the mission went to early and we made a good team. I just did my job, nothing more. I'd say good, but don't get careless. Think about what it means to be a new type, wielding both a gun and a sword. You got to do what old types can't. It's a big responsibility. Can you handle it? Yes. Just kidding, you'll be fine. If you need help, I'll shoot a recovery bullet in time. You'll have my support until you're a full-fledged guy here. Saki is a medical type. She shoots the bullets that heal you in an emergency. Let's say if you almost... Let's say if you're about to die. She shoots you with a bullet that keeps you from dying. Just make sure you don't get hit right after. Well, look who it is. I don't think I've ever seen you in here before. How are things going? You know, you're looking a little under the weather, champ. Not skipping meals, I hope. You'll need stamina no matter what you do. Don't mess up your face or we'll end up some Maragami's lunch. Very much true. So I guess I'll leave it at that for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment what you think of the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. I'm Sugar Baby, the real Sugar Baby. All you other Sugar Babies are just imitating. So won't the real Sugar Baby please jump up? Please jump up, please jump up. Cause I'm Sugar Baby, the real Sugar Baby. All you other Sugar Babies are just imitating.